So here we go. This is what you want to do when you want to perhaps create a new sequence with some files that you edited. So very first thing we're going to do is I'm going to go to the hard drive where I know my file is located right here in the folder. I'm going to go to the project file that I know I want to work in, which is this one, 8.21.18.1 Dania Edit Project File. I'm simply going to double click on this. Wait for that to open. go awesome cool so immediately here I'm presented with all of my open sequences here chops where I normally just chop up random stuff that I might want to use or put into another file or sequence nested sequence 2 nested sequence 3 these were just uh, stabilizing some of these shots. So I know I don't need those. I'll close out that. Hot and heavy. That was a kissing scene. Second trailer. I'll close that out. Nested sequence 7. So this is all I'm getting in the nested sequence 7. I can even come to the middle of this clip here and play. And well, it's just that clip. But I know that I want the entirety of something that I edited. So, for instance, we'll use this one as an example. In this sequence, you've got your edited version complete here to how you want it. Let's get rid of this just for simplicity cases. Just simply going to take my mouse after minimizing the screen like I just did. Well, that's maximizing it, but I'll minimize it here so I've got everything in view. And then what I'll do is I will take my mouse right here. I wish I had one of those highlight thingies. Anyway, and I will go up to sequence. I'm sorry. I will go to new item sequence click on sequence and I will go to format that I know I want to work in so I know this was shot on a digital SLR 1080p and I will go to DSLR 1080p 24 and I will name this sequence exactly what I want to name it now I'll call this one WTDI new edit and maybe I even make a note in this one and say something like please use me smiley face cool and hit OK so now the two tabs that I have open my two sequences that I have open is my first edit and this empty edit here that's going to become my second edit I'll go into my first edit here highlight this all of it and I will hit command C and go into I'm using command because I'm on my on Mac um, and then you'll go into this next sequence that you just created. Click in this sequence and just hit Command V. Boom! Shaka laka laka. Now we have 
our new sequence. I'll save it and make sure that I've got everything I want in there. Yep, looks like everything is there. Yep. And these are unrendered parts right here, but that's fine. The Any portion that's red, that's just telling you that it's highly unlikely that that clip plays smoothly. So, there we go. I'm going to save that. And then I'll close out of Premiere. And do exactly what you did the first time, which was you went to your project file or however you did it, copy that new project file, upload it to Dropbox, and I will get it. Now I'm just going to double check to make sure that our sequence is there. So usually in Premiere, whatever you save last will be there in the exact same format that you left it in. So let's take a look at Make sure it's there. This might be incredibly boring. I might put some music behind this for you just for this purpose. Holy moly. Okay. And yep, exactly how we left it. New sequence right there with everything that you edited or I edited or whatever that you edit it paste it back in here so I will grab this portion here and that's what I'll work with once I get it from you cool let's go ahead and close this out I'm gonna quit from Premiere Pro and boom shaka laka laka that will be a wrap.